because basically it's this uh, phase for people who might be from Tutali, uh, who may be totally unfamiliar with trees for people who took uh, 1,000 hours of training like that person who is studying something right now. All these things give you opportunity to improve your product and to, and this is what it's all about, to differentiate yourself from your competitors. And this is basically what I try to show you in this, in this presentation. At each level you have opportunities to improve your system and to differentiate yourself from your competitors. <laughs> One question I have is about the use of resources. I don't, I'm not sure that it's always bad to use a lot of resources. If the resource is plenty available, if it's not possible to deplete it, and if using it is not harmful to the environment, why not use it? Flowers exist. Flowers exist. <laughs> it's an ecosystem. Uh, it's, it's, it's not like there is something useful or harmful because we are coloring the usefulness and the harmfulness. And the fact that we color it is, is uh, using a thinking model. But maybe the thinking model is not right. So let's, let's come up with some new thinking models. So we, we started to model uh, all kinds of uh, virtual parameters which had an influence on uh, the image. And that's how we uh, constructed this model. I will start from the bottom on how uh, we work with this kind of uh, system. This is very uh, similar to functioning or function model, which is also a tool in Um Instead of objects and function and subjects, we now are talking about two parameters which influence each other in a certain field. This sounds familiar, doesn't it? For example, if I look at the temperature, it can influence the expansion uh, of uh, an object and, and uh, the influence is happening in the thermic field. Uh, it can also uh, influence the chemical level, uh, chemical level by starting uh, a fire. Uh, by too much temperature, it will start to combust. The very extensive study of comfort technology, I just found that uh, uh, let's say microelectronics is developing, technology for microelectronics is developing in a very similar way like technology for macaroni production, spaghetti production. Later we did some studies on business systems and we found that the trends are actually almost the same. Well, that means just one thing. Then we have our minds. When we think about problems, when we think about systems, we do not do much difference. Is it a pile, or it's a coffee maker, or it's a company? All three systems are system are systems, systems of components, and these components interact with each other. They produce some function. They produce positive and negative effects on an abstract level. And the interesting hypothesis is that the way we solve for instance, we eliminate the harmful functions in the iron. We the same as we do it in, uh, in a business system. If our business system produces negative effects, the ways how we eliminate these negative effects are very similar to technology. Well, it sounds a little bit crazy, yes, I know. But I've been busy with that for the last 12, 14 years. 